Hello, our Septa Sorai. Hi there. I'm Septa. I'm Sor. And we are Septasaurus. Rex. <laughs> <laughs> and today we bring you some more bad omens. This is us bringing new music to you. Yeah. We <laughs> love bad omens. We do. Uh, so we already know that they're amazing. Yes. But we haven't heard this song yet. It's a new one that came out Ooh. not too long ago. Yeah, it's called Nowhere to Go. And this is the official music video. Um, I think this is off of their latest album, The Death Just of Peace of Mind. Everything I've heard off of this album so far is amazing. Yeah. So I'm only excited for this video. Yeah, the album's been out for a minute, um, and we have not heard all of it, but that's because we kind of just wanted to experience it with you guys. Um, so slowly as they've been releasing like uh, music videos and such, we've been watching them with you. Yeah! So we're here for another one. Yes, we are. But before we get started... Like! Subscribe! Hit that bell! You know! You gotta do these things because look at this graph! Look at the graph! Do you see this graph? So many people coming in not subscribing. Multiple people coming in multiple times and still not subscribing. It's true! If you keep coming back, you know you like us. Talk Click subscribe, stay a while, become a Septosauri. We love you. I didn't know that I could become any more sad. Until the day that I read that graph. <laughs> and only you can make me happy again. <laughs> We're trying to get to 10K. Yes, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we will tell you the story of our name. Give a little backstory, a little peek see into our lives. Yeah, you'll learn a little bit about Soar and a little bit about Septa. So if you're interested in that, Subscribe and ask your friends to subscribe and watch. We're here to have a conversation and the more people there are, the more conversations we can have. Yes, we want to build a community and just be able to discuss music. But...
was nice. That was absolutely <laughs> delicious. That was so good. That was oh, that was everything I wanted and more. I know. God, that um, that chorus was so catchy. I know. By the end, I knew every word. I know. It was so it catchy. Was Oh man. Yeah, that was that was really good. And I love me some hi-hat play, some good hi-hat play. So like the he's like love it. Yeah. It was so nice. The and like drums it was like perfect. We're work. killing it. I yeah. loved the drums in this one. Yeah, well, and they also they also always have such good production. Yes, their production. So like the spot drums, on. like the guy was killing it, and you could tell he was really nicely because they cleaned those drums up good and they're punchy and it just sounded so good. Everything that he was doing sounded so good with the song. It did. It was nice. It sounded really good. Yeah, that was nice. Ooh. And that that uh like bridgey breakdown. Mm-hmm. That was real nice, dude. That was tasty. Yep. That was tasty. Me likey. I loved it. Me too. Ooh, and ooh, okay, okay. I gotta get into I gotta get into the vocals here. Are yeah. you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, those high notes in the beginning. <sighs> Man, he's got he's got such a good head voice. He's so good. Yeah. I don't know who he works with as a vocal coach, but like comparing his vocals now to his vocals before, he, oh, yep. amazing. So much growth. And yep. he surprises me with every new song because it's like he's experimenting a little bit with his voice in each one. And I love it. I am here for it. Please continue, sir. Well, and like, yeah, he's got such a good tone and like he's a beautiful voice. He does. It's so beautiful. I love his voice. And then I didn't notice as much in this song, but like when he starts getting his like vibrato going, mm -hmm. it's such a unique vibrato. Yes, he does have a very unique vibrato. I don't think I heard it very much in this. One. I don't think so either. I just remember that's the thing that I love about his voice. Yes. So but good. And those high notes. And you can't also you can't like uh, ignore his screams. Oh, because they so also much talent. they've improved so much. And they're like, I love them because they're like smooth, but like aggressive. And because a lot of times, you you know, you have like just the really aggressive, which is totally fine. But he's got like a weird like it's like he like it's like a chill scream. Uh, yeah, he like and I don't know how he does it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a like a the creamy peanut butter of screams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, usually screaming is the crunchy kind. Yeah, he's got like <laughs> and the... he has the smooth creamy kind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it so much. Yes. Can we also talk about how um his thing in all of the recent music videos is he is just a boss vibing yeah while he sings i know i love it <laughs> he like, has he's all really... cleaned up yeah and like because he used to have like the really long hair but he cut it it's all nicely styled now and then he's mm -hmm. got the black gloves and stuff he looks like a freaking anime villain in I all love the best it. ways <laughs> yeah, i love like, it too it looks amazing and he just he has a really commanding presence he does, but not in a really arrogant way. No. Because you can have that. It's like Ollie Sykes from Bring Me the Horizon. Sometimes his stage presence seems more arrogant than anything. And it's only sometimes he just gets it sometimes. And um, I know it's like his stage performer. Yeah, um, I wonder if it's when he's hyping himself up. And it could, it could be 100%. But like with this guy, he doesn't have that. He just has the commanding very stern, intense, but like not in like a overly annoying kind of way. Yeah. No, he's just he just has a strong presence and like a really good stage presence. I wonder how he does live. I have yet to see any live performances. So I'm really wondering if that translates onto the stage or if um, it's mainly for a camera. I'm really curious. We'll have to check it out. Yes. And if any of you have seen Bad Omens live, let us know how the performance was. 
and what you think of the new music. I'm going to critique one thing, and it's that after the bridge, they like chilled it out and they went back in the chorus. I didn't really like that because the the bridge gave me so much energy. (laughs) And that chorus also has a lot of energy. And I was hoping that it would like just run with it and just keep it just going. That's what I would have done as a songwriter. But they also repeated the chorus at the end. So having a little bit of a lull going into it and then repeating the chorus makes more sense. One thing that I do love about them is they make all their stuff very atmospheric. Yeah. And it's just super cool. It's just like a bunch of ear candy, basically. Yeah. And like it, you can create an entire tone of a song with just the ambience. So like I, I they had that in this song, too. They pretty much have it in every song, but yeah, I, I just like it a lot. They've done a really good job with it. And um, my only critique is the music video. I just think they could have done more. I understand keeping it low key and sometimes less is more, but I just wish they would have told more of the story with the music video than they did. Yeah. But it was cool. We got to see the guy's butt. Yeah, you got to see see a butt. And um, that's kind of how their last few music videos have been. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a. Like a simplistic approach. So yeah, wonder, simplistic approach with like atmospheric vibes. Overall, I would give it um, probably eight to nine butts out of ten. <laughs> a few minutes later. You slayed me with that <laughs> joke oh god okay <laughs> oh. Uh, how many butts would you give it <laughs> um i guess if we gotta use butts i'm gonna go with nine butts out of ten nine butts out of ten nine butts out of ten so that's an 18 butts out of 20 all right guys it's our butts and we're making the rules <laughs> Our butts making the rules, and our butts say that it's 18 butts out of 20. 18 butts out of 20, guys. 18 butts out of 20, guys. Tell us how many butts you give it. Thank you guys so much for watching with us and letting us share some of our music with you. We appreciate it. And if you are a Bad Omens fan that found this video, hello. Welcome to our community. Make sure that you subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe, guys. Drop some comments. And tell us what you thought. And um, if any of you have seen Bad Omens live, tell us how they are down in the comments. We really want to know. Is he that commanding on stage? But (laughs) (laughs) until next time. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. We hope you have a good one. Bye. Bye, guys.